truckdriver101.com. My name is Big Ken, and let's get down to business. So today, uh, I was checking out the news that I get from um, uh, the Truckers Review all the time, and they announced it. I don't even need to read the article. I just want to check out the title. The title, title. And, oh, CSA score gone. I'll comment about that again. ELD mandate the final, final rule. Mm-mm-mm-mm. They want to make you guys all have electronic logs. And first of all, the thing I would say to this is doesn't really make a difference. <laughs> it is amazing to me how technology really works versus the fantasy of technology. So I was checking out the truckers report too. I want to talk about, we're going to talk about something a little bit further. They were talking about automated trucks again. And that there's an automated truck, uh, apparently already operating in Germany. That's right. So turn your CDLs in. Gosh, darn it. It's over. (laughs) Oh man. So for all those about to panic and, and turn their CDLs in, look here. Even if they make it cost effective, even if I'm wrong and trucking companies somehow figure out that they're going to make this work a lot better. Guys, we would just become mechanics or or the guys who fuel the trucks or the guys monitor the system. There always will be opportunity. All right. So don't panic about it. There's could I be wrong about it? Yeah, I could be wrong, but I think there always will be some opportunity. So don't worry about it. Don't panic. I don't think it'll ever be as cost effective. You got to think automated trains have been around for years, yet most trains out there, they still run with people. Automated high lows have been around for years. Ten years ago, I went to a factory. All the high lows were run by machines. They still use people for most high low jobs. It only works when you have the money and the workers that are so expensive. Like if you're in a union job and if a guy's there for 20 years, he's going to make a hundred grand a year. You know what I mean? Like then it makes sense because then you can cut that cost down. But even then you still, you, you invite a new group of people into your business, you know, who, you know, the guys who make the hot, the automated vehicles, they got to make money too. So eventually it's going to start out cheap, but it's going to go up and up and up. And once you make that decision, you kind of can't go back on it. You know what I mean? You can't have a, a machine, a company, all machines, and then turn around and say, okay, we want to hire workers. This isn't working out because the company that makes our machines wants to make a billion dollars a year like we do, you know? So it's the same logic that the automotive industry and a lot of other industries use. You, they use a little bit of machines. So I think maybe we'll have a little bit because they got some out there, but I don't know how well they work. I still stand by what I said. I think if anything is going to replace us, it would be drones. Because designing a little drone around a TV to pick it up and take it to your house is cheap. (laughs) A truck that can drive itself is going to be pretty goddamn expensive. Okay? So, that's my little opinion on it. Now, back to the other trucker report news. Automated, uh, not automated trucks. (laughs) Electronic logs mandatory. What will you do now? What will you do, my friend? How will you make it? They gonna monitor me. They gonna force me to drive the truck a full ten hours. How am I gonna make it? I got news for all you truckers out there. I've made good money being automated. Electro I mean not automated. <laughs> Keep saying automated. Being electronic logging. I did, I made good money. How did I make good money? It was simple. First thing I did was I got up in the morning. Yep, I got up in the morning, or night, or an afternoon, whenever my hours came back. Next thing I did, guys, <laughs> then, let me tell you my tragedy. I put my foot on the gas, I start the truck up, I do my inspection, and I go. And I stop when the computer tells me. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, man, yes, I do. And let me tell you, it ain't that damn hard. <laughs> what is wrong with electronic logs? I don't get, like, what do you expect to happen? Like, what do they think is going to happen? I think it's, and it's a lot of older guys, because they think the way computers work, computers that work in trucking, even in automation, all this shit is going to work like your cell phone. It's going to work just like the technology we got now. 
It's going to be inter- intermittent. It's going to go out. It's going to fuck up constantly. And then eventually they're going to say, somebody's going to be like, Jim, we've got to make this shit cost effective. And that, that from that point on, you know what happens, right? Ship that shit to China and make it really cheap. <laughs> That's right. And when they make it really cheap, it ain't going to work worth a shit. I mean, Qualcomm back, it's funny. Qualcomm, when I got into trucking, was a brick. You could throw it. You could smash it. You could throw it in the dash. You could toss it out the window and slam it on the floor. It wouldn't go out for shit. And it would, It had a little screen, right? And it had a, a keyboard. And it was tough. Today, you take the ones with no 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 buttons. You do one thing to that thing. If it get a little bit of water, I had to think. I was cleaning the screen, right? I clean. I sprayed it, and I was cleaning the screen, and that was it, right? And then I and I cleaned it off. Then I got you know finished my inspection because I was getting in the truck. Remember, I'm a slip seater, so I got to clean my truck out. I, I get the wipes and I wipe everything down. That's what I'm trying this month. Wipes. So. I wipe everything down, I spray it with Lysol, or I spray it, spray it with Lysol, and then I do my inspection, I come back in, and that motherfucker goes out. <laughs> it couldn't take a spray with cleaner. Like, it couldn't take it. It just went, oh, I can't, water, oh, no! And it literally rebooted, like, three times. And then it, it was back. That, I remember having a student one time uh, putting the Qualcomm under the seat. This is the old Qualcomm with the with the buttons on it, and smashing down on it, cracking the front of it. Right, because he's un- he put it up under the seat, not thinking. And you know he hit us a bump. It comes down on it, cracks it, cracks it. Oh man, right? Still fucking worked. <laughs> Still fucking worked. I literally put the butt, literally one of the buttons to kind of come off. I pushed it back on. Still worked. <laughs> still worked. <laughs> that, you couldn't do that with one of these new models. You can't, you smash one of these flat screen models. It's going to die. It's going to die. It's just going to look at you and go, I cannot take it, sir. I am out here, 5,000. <laughs> Goodbye, fair world. <laughs> and your screen going to die. I mean, cleaner, cleaner, knocked it out and made it reboot three times in a row. <laughs> that was it. It wasn't like I took a ton of water and dunked it in it. I literally sprayed the screen. So anyway, but look, this shit is does not work super accurate, and it's not that bad. All you got to do is log in, drive. That's it. There are there ways to cheat. Yeah, there's always ways to cheat because this shit isn't isn't worked that well. It just doesn't work that well. Right, the only real thing you did was you kind of got DOT out of your life because they keep saying devices, right? And when they use the word devices, that means any device that you, they agree that works, you can use. That means your cell phone. That means your uh, um, laptop. That means, I mean, they haven't revoked anything yet. So you still have the ability to be a dirty little truck driver, Okay. You still have that ability. It's just going to take some knowledge and you have to learn how to, you know, adjust your stuff with the times. But, you know, you can just run legal. A lot of times everybody runs legal. A lot of you guys are more legal than you like to admit. You know, sometimes be honest. You're a legal truck driver. It's okay. It's okay to admit that you're a legal truck driver. I know you've been in the industry 20, 30 years, and you don't want to admit that you drive legally. But a lot of times, if you get the electronic logs, you drive legally, and it's okay. Electronic logs are not the end of the world. Automated trucks are not the end of the world. Technology does not work nearly as good as they advertise it to. And we will always have an opportunity in some way. Just keep chugging along, doing what you're doing, okay? That's my whole message. Took nine minutes to say that because I'm a goofball. <laughs> TruckTriver101.com <laughs> Oh, if you want to check out the book and you're on the YouTube video, click the link down below. But if you want to get the audio book that will help drive us up to a year experience, well, I think really more than a year experience, but up to a year experience, here's what you do. I know all you people are like, oh my God, why does he sound like a terrorist? Oh my God. Anyway, but <laughs> but what you can do is you can go to truck drivers. Oh, no, 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 no. Truckdriverbooks.com. Go www 
truckdriverbooks.com. You can get Ken's book 